Welcome back to FM Story. In the last episode, we began season 11 and it couldn't have started any better. We've won eight from eight in the league without conceding a goal. We've won two from two in the Champions League without conceding a goal. And we're through to the semi-final of the League Cup as well. How long can we keep this 100% start to the season going? Well, let's find out. Without further ado, let's get into the action. We ended the last episode with the quarterfinal victory in the League Cup against Rangers. We've made it now to the end of October and we've got the semi-final of the League Cup coming up. We're playing at Hamden against Kilmarnock and basically things have continued in the same same vein of form that we had at the start of the season. We still have a 100% record in all competitions. We started off with a 2-0 victory away at St Mirren. We got off to a decent start. Early goal from Cochise, Basagori got the second. We did pick up an unfortunate injury to Cesar Hernandez, who's been missing from the team since then. Uh, we then went to away to Hibs and conceded our first goal of the season. And it's Ricardo Farfus, who the last two seasons had scored against us in nearly every game for Livingston. He's obviously now got a move to Hibs and opened the scoring against us. But Basagori again with two goals, Cochise with a goal in the second half. Came here with a, a 3 1 victory there. We then travelled to Villarreal in the Champions League and we weren't great in the first half. Um, second half, we were better. We got two goals in quitting in a short period of time between with Cochise and Nuevo um, to give us a 2 0 victory. And then, possibly our worst performance of the season so far, we went to a home game against Kilmarnock. We got off to a great start, a goal inside the first minute from Luis Roberto. They pulled a goal back. We almost immediately went up the other end and scored to make it 2-1. Um, we were 3-1 up, but it was them that was pushing towards the end of the game. They made it 3-2, and it was a bit tense the last 10 minutes or so, um, but we came away with three points. And then in the most recent game, um, a pretty comfortable victory away at Dundee United. A couple of goals for Cochise, goal for Carlos Medina. And uh, so far, we are, still have a 100% record in all competitions. Uh, as far as the league is concerned, we have won 12 from 12. Um, we are top of the table on 36 points. Rangers have played 13 games, so we're six points ahead of them with a game in hand. And we are nine points clear of Celtic, having played the same number of games. So everything's going pretty swimmingly. And um, we are very, very much sharing the goals around because we've scored... I think 43 goals this season and we don't have anyone in the top three of the goal scorers. Um, so things are going well and we just need to carry on that, that run of form. And then as far as the Champions League is concerned, we um, are the only team with a 100% record left. We've played three games, won three with nine points. Barcelona are top, but they've played a game more. Um, again, we're sharing the goals around a bit. We haven't scored as many um, in fact, we, I think we have only scored six goals in total. Um, and we've been pretty secure at the back as well. Um, so it's just a case of carry on with that. Another couple of another couple of victories should put us in a, a really strong position of, of finishing in the top eight. That's the aim really for the league phase. Make sure we finish in the top eight. Try and avoid that playoff round if we can. Obviously, the, the ultimate goal is just to make sure that we do make make it into the knockout stages, which, having won the first three games in the league phase, we really should. But now the focus turns to the semi-final against Kilmarnock, and uh, hopefully we can we can carry on in the same vein of form we've had. Hopefully not too similar a performance to the league game. Hopefully it's a bit more comfortable than that. But uh, let's find out what happens. So this is the side we've picked for the semi-final. Um, Hernandez failed a fitness test, so Calvin Ramsey's playing right back. And Casanova is only fit enough to play 45 minutes, so it doesn't make sense to start him. So Cochise is going to carry on through the middle. Deli Bassett is going to play off the right. Otherwise, it's the first choice team that we have. So we're going with a 4-3-3. They're going with a 4-4-2. Um, and hopefully they don't cause us as much threat as they did in the last game. A lot of the threat in the last game came from 
Joao Grimaldo down the right, linking up with Alex DeMarco. So hopefully we can keep them quiet. Right, Ramsey with a free kick, lifts it into the box. It's headed up in the air. DeMarco hammers it clear. But we've got it back with Ramsey. Deli Basic. Ramsey on the overlap. Tries to play it back to Deli Basic, loses out. And now they're attacking down our left. Fayet just bumps the player off the ball, get, picks the loose ball up into Basauri. Nuevo back to Rackler. Who's driving forward to Laterna. Santos with some space on his left hand side. Infield to Medina. Out to Ramsey. Deli Basic in the box. Fires it into the bottom corner. There's a chance he's offside here. I think he probably was. He looked like he'd gone a bit too early. Looks like it's getting, yeah, it's been given. Um, so Santos across to Medina. It was a bit of a heavy ball. Ramsey just gets there and tore pokes it through to Deli Basic, who then just fires it on his left foot into that far corner. And that puts us 1 0 up and a nice early start to the game. It just looks miles offside because of when he gets the ball, he's well in front of the defence, but it was actually a pretty well timed run in the end. All right, a corner, Cochise to take it. Goes to the edge of the box to Pesauri, Laterna. Eventually falls to Ramsey in the box somehow. And that's us 2 0 up after four minutes, two goals in two minutes. And uh, this certainly, hopefully, is going to be a bit more comfortable than the league game was against Kilmarnock. It was pulled back to Baselri, who lays it into Laterna, who loses the touch but finds the ball to Ramsey and he just fires home. All right, Santos with a throw. It's flicked on by fire. Rackler. And that's 3 0 after eight minutes. And we've come out and blown them off the pitch here. Santos with a throw. It's flicked on by fire. Rackler made his run away there. Took it on his on, on his chest and just hammers it with the outside of his left foot past the keeper. Right, Ramsey back to Medina with the throw. Fayette into Basauri. Nuevo loses out. They've gone back to the centre halves. Oh, they nearly lost it there. DeMarco. Now they're attacking. We've got acres of space down the right hand side for Grimaldo. And the keeper should be keeping that out. I mean, he's basically parried that into the back of the net. So Santos came in on the cover and then just left Grimaldo in acres of space from the edge of the box. I mean, that should be getting saved. That was, though, where we said the threat was, down that right-hand side with Grimaldo. All right, back to Zebra, out to Fayette. Ramsey with acres of space on his right-hand side. Down the line for Deli Basic with acres of space himself to run into, onto the edge of the box. And the keeper turns it behind for a corner. Which Ramsey's going to take. He goes short to Laterna, who then whips the cross in low. And then it's cleared at the near post. They've got it though. Are they going to launch an attack from here? Oh, dodgy pass by the keeper. Go oh, cheese. That's 4-1. And that surely is tie over. We're not even we're going to throw away a three-goal lead in the second half. Let's play it back to the keeper, and that's a, just a really strange, weak pass. Looking for his centre half. Cochise reacts, the keeper doesn't get in back anywhere near his goal. And there we have it 4 1 up. Half time, 4 1 up. And apart from that little brain fart that gave Grimaldo all that space down the right hand side, it couldn't have gone an awful lot better than that. And we just need to keep up the effort levels in the second half and make sure we make it through to another final. All right, we've sent the same team out to start the second half and then. Maybe as we're on the hour, we'll look to make some changes. Maybe we'll even get Casanova some game time back. Santos with a long throw. It's headed out. Niarco for them down the left-hand side. But Laterna gets back to pick it up. 
Faya into Medina, Basauri into Cochise in the box. And it's been a combination of the goalkeeper and the defender get it behind for a corner. Ramsey to take the corner. Goes looking for the near post. It's headed up in the air. It's still alive. Laterna into the box. Right, we've made our first changes to bring some fresh legs on. We've got Casanova on up top just to get him some game time. San Martin's come on at right back because um, Ramsey was knackered. Luis Roberto's come on wide left. And Dusink has come on for Medina in the midfield. Uh, San Martin now down the right hand side. Back to Fayet. Basauri back to Rackler. Santos down this left hand side. Down the line to Luis Roberto. Looking for decent in the box. It goes through to Casanova. He's managed to hit both posts before they scramble it behind for a corner. Uh, uh, Luis Roberto is going to take the corner with his left foot. Goes short to Basauri. Back to Luis Roberto. And he's throwing himself to the ground after losing the ball. Right, a corner for them. Niarco to take it. In swing with the left foot. Casanova gets his head on it. Grimaldo on the edge of the box. And he can't keep it down. And there we are. Full time. Dominant performance. 4-1 victory. Three of those, those three early goals key to the game. And that has made it to yet another League Cup final. And now the focus turns back to the league and the Champions League. We've made it to the end of November and we've finally lost our first game in any competition yet this season. So the first game after the semi-final, we went away to Rennes in the Champions League. Again, first half not great, second half really turned it on. Uh, a couple of spells where we got two goals in, in sort of two or three minutes um, came away with a 4-0 victory. We then went away to Dunfermline and a 2-0 victory whilst not playing particularly well and then definitely our worst um, performance of the season at home to Rangers nothing we did seemed to really work although we got a late consolation goal back they beat us 2-1 we then followed that up with a 3-1 victory away at Barcelona it did look like on the back of losing that first game against Rangers and then conceding the goal in the fifth minute it was a bit is this going to be a, ba a bad run of form but we immediately got on the on level terms with a goal against his old club by Andreu Nuevo. And then Cochise popped up with a couple of goals to secure a 3-1 victory. And then in the most recent league game, pretty comfortable victory at away at Hearts, 4-0 up at half-time, finished 4-0. What it means as far as the league's concerned is we are top um, with 14 wins, that one loss on 42 points. We're five points clear of Rangers, who've played a game more and we're six points clear of Celtic who've played the same number of games so we're in still in a strong position slightly less strong than we were prior to that defeat against Rangers um, but it's now all about just sort of kicking on again and, and making sure we don't lose any more or too many more and then as far as the Champions League is concerned we've won five from five the only team with a 100% record in the in the competition this season uh, 15 points from those five games obviously we are the only team as well that have guaranteed ourselves a spot in the the knockout stages of the champions league now the aim is i think probably with another victory we probably should be able to secure a top eight finish um just want to make sure that we make it past that knockout round straight into the round of 16 um but before we get to the rest of the Champions League games, we've got a, a league game coming up away at Livingston just to end the month of November off. First against the 11th, so hopefully we can pick up a decent victory. Thankfully, we've got Juan Medina, who is about the same standard as Zebra. I think maybe in the next couple of seasons, Medina might actually overtake Zebra as the number one. Um, so far this season, Zebra's played more games, but with him being away at the African Cup of Nations with the Ivory Coast, it's really good that we have a, a goalkeeper that I feel like we can depend on in these games coming up.
So this is the side we've picked for the Livingston game. We've made one change from the game against Hearts in that last league game. Santos was suspended for that game. He's come back in for Fernandez Vinitsky, who picked up a knock in the first half of that game. So it's just a straight swap at left back. Otherwise, it's the same team that we've picked. And hopefully we can just continue this, this run of form on. Right, a throw in for them deep in our half. We half want it back, but they've got the ball into the box. Santos gets his head to it. The turner tried to block a cross, and we've got away with one there. Um, clear chance, and they've they've put it wide of the target. Right, throw in for them. We've won it back. Casanova squares it for Dusink. Takes flight from the edge of the box. Doesn't hit the target, and we have not been great so far in this first half. Corner that Cochise swings in. We've got the head on it. Rackler at the near post, flicked it on. Fire at the back post, powered the head of home from close range. And it's getting reviewed by VAR. And it's been given. So it's flicked on by Rackler, fire at the back post. God knows what the, the VAR check was for. And there we have it, half time 1 0. Certainly not been at our best, but we're in front. And uh, hopefully we can we can take advantage a bit more in the second half. All right, so we made two changes to start the second half. Santos picked up a bit of a knock in the first half. He's come off. Laterna was knackered, so he's come off. Uh, so we brought on Thibault at left back and Luis Roberto at, uh, on that left wing. And Medina with a goal kick goes long. It's flicked on. Casanova trying to get on the end of it, but it's caught up by the centre half. And they're looking to attack down their left-hand side. Medina wins it. Back to Hernandez. Into Medina again in the centre of midfield. Thibault with space. Down the line for Luis Roberto. He loses out. Try to cut inside the defender, but the defender dwelled on it. Deucing nicks it off him. Smashes it past the keeper. And doubles our lead. Starting to see why they might be down in 11th on the table because it's got all the time in the world to do something with it. Dwells on it, Deucing takes it, fires it across the keeper and puts us 2-0 up. All right, Tebow with a throw. Deucing, Medina. Back to Rackler. Wide to Hernandez with some space. Looking to go down the outside. Infields to Cochise. Medina. Dusink. Works the ball into Casanova in the box. He finishes. That's 3 0. And I think time to make some more changes because we've got a few players that are tired. Looks like Casanova's picked up a knock. And we'll, we'll get them off and, and get them rested. Basauri to Medina. Thibault takes it, just lifts it over, and Casanova, first time, dispatches it past the keeper for 3 0. Right, Deucing with a free kick aim to the back post. Fire Tedder was fumbled by the keeper. Deli Bassage just turned it home, and we've got another VAR check for something that couldn't possibly have been offside. No, it, didn't, it wasn't even fumbled by the keeper. It looked like it was fumbled by the keeper originally, but Fire nodded it back. Deli Bassage nods it home. And that's 4-0 up. Deucing with another free kick. Stands it up. Bissauri went up for it. Handball by the defender by the looks of it. And it's been given. And Deucing's going to step up to take it. Puts it past the keeper, gets his second of the game and puts us 5-0 up in injury time. Just fires it into that corner. It did take us a little while to get going in this game, but uh, in the end, pretty comfortable victory this is going to turn out to be. Yeah, pretty comfortable 5-0 victory, still top of the table. I just need to keep on keeping on. And there we are, the end of another episode, and things really couldn't be going much better in Season 11 than they are 
Um, we've got the League Cup final coming up against Celtic. Already qualified for the knockout stage of the Champions League. Top of the table, won every game in the Champions League. Top of the league table, six points clear of Celtic. Seven points clear of Rangers, who've played a game more. And that last game against Livingston there was our 30th game unbeaten away from home in the league. Um, things are going pretty well. We just need to hopefully continue that. Join us next time to see if we can win the Scottish League Cup for the third successive season. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.